Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demo of Philo. It's a very interesting idea where you can help sort genes or help decode genes uh, across various species by color coding. It's um, let me go ahead and register. I'm already yeah. Uh, the unfortunately the um, there's no option on Philo to turn off the rather annoying music. Uh, maybe this is it right here. There is an option. I turn that off. Turn it off. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Mute. Where's the mute? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to start, and I've already done the tutorial about 12 times. Let me see if I can get this thing, the music, to turn off. Okay, there, it's almost off. All right, so now uh, I'm going to go with random three. Uh, this is the easiest level, and the issue I'm having really is um, when I get the best score. The best score is negative 16. I'm comparing myself. The, this is a human and a dog, apparently. So when I slam them all together, um, the best score is now negative four, and the stats say the par is negative two. So uh, you move the boxes around. Let's see if I can get the boxes to move now. There we go. Okay, so I've moved the box. Now I've got these matched, and my score is still negative four. But I've got, oh, now I've got the best score, right? So best is zero. I got the little star. That's the first time I've got that in a while. And now um, the par is 10, and the best is negative 16. I don't know who the best is. It's not me, obviously, because I just started. Uh, so still negative 16. I'm just trying to match the colors as best I can. I got three in here, three in here. If I slide them all over, like this, my score actually goes down. So you're trying, I mean, I'm trying to match them as best as possible. If I move this one, and then my score, okay, now the best score is zero, but the par is 10. I, frankly, I don't know how you can get a 10 for par if I've already aligned this at best. My score is going to go down. Negative 4. It didn't go down that much. Oh, yes it did. Now it's negative 13. If I move that back, I've got the 2 purple and i got the 3 green and my score is still negative 13. Oh no, now it's negative 4. So negative 4 is the appears to be the best score I can get. Because if I move this out further, my score is going to go down. Negative eight. So I'm I'm really quite confused by the game, um, and ultimately I want to get as many lineups or triple pair lineups as I can with these down here. So now the best is a zero, and. It doesn't show me, give me any ideas as to how I can make this a zero. If I move that, my score goes down again, negative 14. If I move it back, my score goes up. So it's it's really quite confusing. I mean, I like the idea of the game, but um, the feedback is not very useful uh, in terms of the scoring. Uh, especially when the obvious thing to move to move these almost automatically causes my score to go down because the one that I got the star with or the, the the best points with was the was the initial two but those initial two if I move them my score goes down oh, like that my score is now Oh, now it's negative 12. This was a negative 14. Uh, and if I if I shove them all back together, yeah, 
it's not going to let me do that. Negative 19, etc. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm well, negative 12 now. I'm a bit of a loss. I'd, I'd like to be able to understand more about how to play this game, but the tutorial is very... Alright, so now my score is zero. That's weird. Okay, my score is now zero. The best score is zero. Or my be I guess this is my best score is zero. But par is ten. Uh, all right, so let's go with let's go with something that looks like it might add more purples together. I move the purples over, and does my score go up? It does. So I move the blues over, and the UI is a little sloppy, mostly because I think I'm recording. Now my score drops to negative 9. Let's move this over here. See if I can get these greens. Negative 6. So, uh, yeah, my best score now is a 2. And now it's a negative 6. It would be nice if I could, you know, click on the best and then have it rearrange everything to back to where it's supposed to be so I get my score back. I don't know. Uh, it's an interesting game, but um, I don't quite know. The tutorial is really thin on details. There's no strategy. Um, there's no written strategy. It's just the tutorial, which is a video. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you know if you know how to play Philo better than I do, which is probably pretty easy, make a video, post it, so we can sort out the uh, genome matching problems. Uh, actually, I, it's almost done. So let's uh, we'll fail together, or I will fail, and you can watch. My score is negative nine. It's not going to get any better. Let's see, maybe I can move these back. Does that improve anything? No. Negative 13. My score actually went down. So unfortunately, um, average score for this was 1. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, it didn't say. Usually it says, unfortunately, you didn't do anything. But this one actually it says I played level 906. This is familial arithmogenic right ventricle dysplasia. Uh, something to do with uh, heart disease. Curious. Uh, but I don't really know how I could have done better. It would have been interesting to actually, if I could see how. Uh, Emily Kamale I did the high, or made her high score. That would help a lot, but I don't see that. Thanks for watching and happy computing.